start looking, reading the textbooks, looking at the exercises, seeing if they really are uh, targeted at the heart of the standards, um, if they really do present the coherence of progressions across grade levels, try and follow those threads and see if they're present. Um, if we look at they really integrate the practice standards into the daily work of the students. If we look at their, if we look at and see if they really are sticking with the focus of the standards, then I think you know if we start demanding it, it'll it'll start to appear. Um, I think probably one more question. I'm supposed to have a fight, right? Um, I would assume that part of the reason we have these common core standards is because we're trying to be competitive, I would assume. Compared to the rest of the world, are we falling behind or are we a little ahead? Um, you're right that the motivation, or I should maybe say the motivational rhetoric that caused this movement was all about international competition, competitiveness, we're falling behind, Tim's, we're a number of something or other in the world, and it's not one. Uh, 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 you know, that was certainly a lot of what drove this. Um, I have two things to say about that. I think that sort of rhetoric is often exaggerated. There are good stories to tell as well as bad stories to tell about um, mathematics education in this country. Um, even when it's true, Panic is not a good way of getting anything done. And so this sort of panic atmosphere where we're in a continual state of crisis, and you know, we always have to sort of turn everything upside down and start all over again, um, I don't think is helpful. So what personally motivated for me, me in working on the standards was not that. Although I think there is there is there is some truth to the fact that we're not, you know, that we're not internationally competitive. You know, I come from another country. Originally, I mean, I'm a citizen of the United States now, but so I don't have this mentality that America has to be number one. I think it could be a strength, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be okay too. <laughs> but um, so, um, but sorry, where was I? Um, uh, um, yeah, uh, uh, what, mo what motivated me mostly was that we could try and get past the panic mentality with common standards. That if we have common standards, we're sort of working from the same text, a certain amount of the argument, commotion, uh, disagreement that surrounds mathematics education could be calmed down, giving us time to focus on the real problems, which is what's happening in the classroom, and you know, um, how are our teachers being prepared, and, uh, and, and do we have coherent curriculum. So I see the standards as an opportunity to get past a little bit of that rhetoric and to actually start doing something about the problem rather than worrying about the problem. And I think I'll stop there because I think that was my last question. Thanks. Thank you. So thank you all for coming. If anyone would like, we are headed over to Wilson Hall for a brief reception if you have questions and would like to interact with Bill a little bit more. Um, we're over in Wilson Hall, so follow people who are walking that way. Thank you. Take as long as you drive. Good, Dan, how are you doing? So, Candy says, in order for you guys to use what she used, I think it's too low. So, she said, you guys just have a meeting. I don't think we're going to feel like that. After all this. <laughs>